Dad? Hi, Stephanie. Oh my god, you're back! When I heard what happened to you, I had to come back. I had to forget about what happened to Mom and pull myself together. Thanks, Dad. Of all people, I know about losing someone close. And I want you to know I'm here to help you through this. No, no, I can't do this. If you move back home with me, what if I lose you too? You won't lose me. You said yourself, it's a phone call to trigger. As long as we don't call each other, everything will be okay. I guess you're right. So did John come with you? Yes. Your brother should be at home as we speak. Oh my god, that's so great. Well, it's pretty chilly out here. Let's go home and chop some firewood. Hey Dad, how's the wood chopping going? Yeah, good. I'm just coming down now to get some water. Oh, hey John. Hey. Hey, what you doing for the weekend? I'm going to the beach actually. I'm going with my friend Daniel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just starts. So it'll be good. Um, what are you up to? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, nothing. What? Nothing. Oh. Nothing at all. Okay. Mm, bummer. Yeah, very empty weekend. Mm. Um, I gotta just I gotta go one second. Mm -hmm. um, hey John. Uh, yeah. Can I come to the beach? Um no. What? Hey, do you want to go for a drive? Uh, I got a, um, s spring cleaning. Yeah, I uh, just spring. Fine, I'll go for a walk then. Oh, and Steph, don't forget to tell Dad to take his medication. What medication? His heart medication. After Mum died, Dad's heart broke. So broken, in fact, that he developed a heart condition. 
And now every day at four o'clock, he has to take his medication or he'll have a heart attack and die. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll tell him. Let's go get the jacket first. Hey, Dad. We're going to take your medication. Yeah, I've still got a couple of minutes. I'll just finish the tree. Just make sure you do it. My heart. I could have taken my medicine.
John, you ready, man? Where do you think you're going? You just got here. We're going to the beach. Uh, with my friend Daniel. Hey. Hey, I'm Daniel. What's your name? Steph. Uh, that's my sister. Right. Let's go to the beach then. It's good meeting you. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hey, so how much is the ticket, man? It's like three fifty, man. Three fifty. Yeah, they're ripping us. You right, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. They say, bro, your sister's a hottie. Oh, yeah. You should, you should say hook us up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm sorry, but I mean, seriously, what do you have against your sister? Bros before hoes, man. I mean, come on, man, seriously. Uh, you don't understand. Well, help me understand. Come on, I mean, I'm your best friend. Uh, look, have you heard all these things about how she's killed heaps of her friends? Oh, my God. You seriously can't believe those ghost stories, do you? Well, I don't. But part of me does. Part of me is really scared that I might be next. I kind of hold her responsible for Dad's death. Well, technically you killed him. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, here's the train now. Okay.
Well, that was the yellow smiley face.
annoying. I have a feeling that someone's been stalking you lately. Fuck. She's on to me. I'm sorry about your brother. It's not your fault. That's what you think. It's all my fault! It's all right. It's not your fault. Boy, just land on my shoulder. What are you doing? <sighs> What'd I do? Why don't you just rip my heart out? You just won't. You just won't start to be all right. So do you still think it's a yellow smiley face killing people? What do you mean? Let me explain something to you, Steph. Ever since you were a little kid, there's been me as your friend. But then there's been your other friends too. Oh my god. How is this possible? What's going on? I want to be your only friend. Call it selfish. But I'm the only friend of yours that's always looked out for you, always protected you. What are you saying? Your other friends weren't true friends, not like I was. Are you saying you killed all my friends? I didn't kill them. I made them kill themselves. I couldn't let them hurt you. No! You died! I saw you fall off that roof! I faked it. Just like I faked my last death. Sure, it didn't go well according to plan. I got third degree burns. But it sure fooled you, didn't it? They were freak accidents! You couldn't have done anything. If the yellow smiley faces, how could you explain that? I placed all the smiley faces there just to confuse you. I killed Rosie by pushing over the bookshelf. Killed Eddie by pushing down that spear. I dressed up in that clown suit just so I could scare you enough not to go meeting these new people. I didn't want to kill them. Marker I killed when I put the axe on the floor. I killed Darcy by taking the batteries out to his electric razor so he was forced to use his normal razor. I killed your dad by putting a banana peel in front of him when he was had to chop down that tree. And lastly, I killed Daniel by replacing that frisbee with that circular saw razor blade. You are a murderer! No, no. I'm your guardian angel. How can you think you're protecting me? I protected you from all your stupid friends, peer pressuring you into shit like Drinking, smoking, and drugs. But my dad? My brother? I had to. Your brother hated you. He blamed you for everything. And your dad was dragging you down on his depressive cycle of your mother's death. Stephanie, I don't think you understand this, but I've made your life worryless. I'm a true friend. You should be thanking me for this. You're insane. You think you're a true friend when in fact you're a cold-blooded killer. Don't call me that! How dare you! <laughs> oh.